Okay, so today we're going to actually talk about a mental aspect of the game of poker. We're going to actually talk about going on tilt. So, uh, what is tilt, you say? Uh, well, going on tilt is when you don't control your emotions at the table. So, you might get bad beated, you might also um, just have a bad run of cards, um, and you just don't seem to be able to do anything right, and you get angry, and you just start calling every single card, you start raising when you shouldn't, you basically you're not following the mathematics of poker. Um, now, going on tilt is probably one of the worst things that any poker player can do at the table, uh, because it literally takes any skill out of the game at all. So, uh, a lot of people can't avoid going on tilt, uh, but I can give you a few strategies of how to avoid, uh, but also a few ways to recognize that you are going on tilt and that you need to actually change this. So, so why do we go on tilt? Well, we go on tilt for a various few reasons. Like I said, we, we can't get the hand. We, um, we're also uh, not playing correctly or uh, somebody's just hit a one-outer on us or something like that. And we get very angry. I know a few people that do go on tilt an awful lot and you just end up throwing money away. So you've definitely got to avoid it. Um, so the, probably one of the best ways to avoid going on tilt is to uh, let your emotions against the game not actually come to fruition. So you've got to understand that poker is definitely a mathematics game. Uh, there is some luck involved, obviously, but uh, you also know that uh, poker is a game that if I, I get aces, you're going to get aces just as many times over the lifetime of the game. So um, you are going to have bad runs and you are going to not be able to actually hit any cards at certain times or you are going to have the mass work against you at times as well. So for example, if you're meant to win a hand 90% of the time, uh, well 10% of the time they will hit the card to beat you. So uh, and that's when people do go on tilt occasionally and that's where what we've got to avoid. So uh, some of the best strategies of go avoid and tilt is getting up and walking away from the table. Now, this is probably best played in cash games. Uh, cash games, uh, if you get up, in most casinos, if you get up from the table, you actually don't end up having to pay, play blinds. Uh, you can go away, you can cook, calm yourself down. If you're a smoker, go have a smoke. If you're not a smoker, um, you can just go have a walk outside. Uh, just really calm down. Uh, take your mind away from that poker table and just... Um, reset the mind. So that's probably the best way to do it. Um, another way is that you can just start going really tight. So you just start playing real tight hands um, and just just play premium hands and then just uh, let the anger in you just calm down as you are folding all the time or, you, or you're or um, you just playing premium and hopefully getting paid off for them. That's probably, uh, that's probably not as good a solution as leaving the table, um, but some people can go on and off till pretty quickly. Um, uh, I personally would just walk away from the table personally um, and we've all been on tilt don't get me wrong we've all we've all get frustrated at the table but we have to definitely avoid it as much as we possibly can um, the the biggest thing with uh, going on tilt is you do not want to blow up your bankroll so I've seen multiple people actually blow up their bankroll purely because somebody's hit a one outer on so you might have a thousand dollars in front of you uh, somebody's hit a one outer um, for you for fifty dollars, and you actually tear up nine hundred fifty dollars after that by just calling silly hands. So, the more you can avoid from going on tilt, the better off you're going to be. So, uh, please try to avoid going on tilt, even if you are getting emotionally upset. Walk away from the table, uh, just reset your mind. Um, and if it takes ten minutes, it takes ten minutes. If it takes half an hour, it takes half an hour. Now, obviously, in a tournament, it's going to be a little bit differently. The quicker you can get off tilt, the better off for the tournament. But you also don't want to blow up your tournament stack as well. So sometimes leaving a uh, table can be the best solution there. So, um, yeah, please avoid going on tilt um, and try to come up with ways that you personally can be better off um, by not going on tilt. So, all right, um, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe um, to our channel. Uh, there's a few other videos just uh, down here that you can... Uh, check out. I've done a few vlogs and done some other um, information on poker videos. So uh, yeah, please, please watch those ones. Thank you.